Good morning, good afternoon, excuse me, good evening, family. Welcome to the asylum with me, your host, Khadija. Okay, this is for y'all. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this one. This is just some words of wisdom and advice that has now come down the pike regarding people and their uh, STIs, okay? So now the experts claim that medical advice peddled by health chiefs for decades need to change because uh, gonorrhea really can be spread by kissing. Y'all hear that? So if you kiss somebody and they got the clap, and for decades we've been taught that the clap couldn't spread by kissing, so whatever kind of clap they done made stronger now, you can get it through kissing somebody. And they now say that there's evidence enough that they got to change these guidelines. Uh, gonorrhea really can be spread by kissing, claimed the leading scientist. For decades, sexual health experts have insisted that the clap could not be spread through snogling. Instead, it's tres- uh, transmitted only through unprotected sex. But researchers say the evidence is now clear enough that guidelines got to be changed. Professor Professor Eric Child of the Melbourne Sexual Health Center, we think it's possible to catch gonorrhea via kissing. I think the guidelines must be updated. Did you, it, it, is y'all hearing me? For those that love to kiss, uh, we already know that your mouth is probably one of the most dirtiest places, right? Nobody want to talk about that, but it's the truth. So now, if I have gonorrhea and we're kissing one another, you, you, you are highly suspect of being transmitted gonorrhea. This is this. In January, anyway, his team of researchers conducted a review of six studies that looked at whether tongue kissing was a risk factor in gonorrhea and chlamydia. Yeah, because y'all eating ass, you eating you, you you've gotten so crazy in your sexual deviation that I'm not surprised that this shit is done traveled all up through your mouth and throat and every damn place else because we become sexual degenerates almost and like everything goes. And it's almost like it's it's foul to have boundaries in your sexual activity. Uh-huh. Now, I'm boundless. I'm limitless. Yeah, and these going to be one of these people that give you tr- uh, sexually transmitted diseases through the mouth. Okay? Cancer. Michael Douglas said he had cancer from eating VJJ. This shit ain't no joke out here. Look. No. Oh, God damn. This is just, okay. Let me finish. Um, anyway, they said, however, this was not the case for chlamydia. Meanwhile, a study published in, Janu- in July by many of the same researchers determined that kissing could spread gonorrhea. It analyzed the sexual history and the STI records of more than 2,000 gay and bisexual men. We found orophanagia gonorrhea was associated with exposure to a partner's mouth through kissing. Hello, hello, hello. And in 2019, the same team found gay men were more likely to have gonorrhea in their throat than in their penis. And the risk of spreading it was far greater for kissing than for oral sex. A number of pieces of evidence suggest transmissions from the oral larynx 
back of the throat may be more common than previously thought. The bacteria can be cultured from saliva, suggesting and that um, the exchange of saliva between individuals may potentially transmit gonorrhea. Y'all hear that? Y'all hear me? Keep playing. Keep playing with your bodies. Keep thinking that it don't mean nothing to try to be decent and set some boundaries around yourself just like you set boundaries. You know what? And some How, how can I say that? Because half of y'all have dogs and don't even set boundaries. Let their asses run outside. I ain't talking about my listeners uh, as a whole now. Come on. I'm talking about, y'all know, we got some people out here that don't even give their dog boundaries. So let alone their own bodies. And we sit back and we watch and we be like, these people are off the chain. So it's just important to the, expose this new research and the transmission of these STIs. It's important for our understanding of how these things spread, y'all. And that you got to start setting up some healthy boundaries. Everything don't go. And if everything go for you in your sex, then you will get everything. Okay? I, your body is your temple. Now, whether you want to believe it or not, everything you put in your body has a consequence. If it's too much food, like me, you'll be getting fat. Okay? If it's too much drugs, it'll break all your uh, 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 vital organs down. What the? F Listen. Gonorrhea is primarily passed through unprotected oral sex, vaginal or anal. While there may be cases that it has passed through the mouth to mouth through kissing, it may be um, something that y'all might want to look into, okay? Because it is not cool. Oh, my God. It remains essential for everyone to have access to high-quality sexual health services to keep you and your sexual partner safe. So y'all got these people that want to jump from person to person to person. You miss me with that. Miss me. You got 20 baby mamas by 20 different women. So you didn't put your penis in 20 different women who have all different alkaline pH balances and... Look, and some of them just downright got a dormant disease that they might have got from somebody else. Because with women, it take a little longer for them to even know. Okay? Men might burn instantly. That's not the case with women. Let me tell y'all something. L love yourself. Because once you begin to love yourself, you won't even mistreat yourself this way. You won't. And it's all come from a lack of love. Love for yourself. Now, y'all can get mad. You can leave me your comment below because I will respond to it. But if you like what you hear and if you or if you don't like what you hear, hit the like button, leave a comment, and we'll discuss it further.